Hello friends, today we're customizing a Wonderless travel doodle bag. I picked up this bag secondhand for about 550 yen or the equivalent of about 4 US dollars. It is an H&M brand bag. I'm pretty sure this is not leather, but I cannot be sure. So I'm going to treat it just like leather by using the Andalus Leather Preparer and Deglazer to remove the factory dye and finish. It is best to use gloves for this part. However, I am out of gloves, so I'm just going to be super careful and wash my hands thoroughly after. My main focus is that the logo comes out straight in the center, so I'm using some chalk guidelines before I draw it on. The word Wanderlust has 10 letters, so I'm doing 5 on the right side of the center line and 5 letters on the left side of the center line. Using the black from Endless Direct, there is a 10% discount link down below so you can save 10% on any Endless product. Everything from this point on is completely freehand using only the brush. The word wanderlust is defined as a love for traveling, so every doodle I am drawing is travel related to include that postcard up on the top and this little camera here.
I really didn't like that smiley face that I drew in the passport. I just wasn't feeling that aesthetic. So I removed it again with the leather preparer and the glazer and I'm going to draw something different. At this point, I'm just going over a few lines to make them a little bit thicker and a little bit straighter. I can clearly see some discoloration on the purse from where I removed the factory finish with the acetone. So my plan is to use a little bit of white on the foreground so that your eyes ignore the background. I still feel like there's a little too much dead space, so I'm going to fill it in with a few swirlies. So I can either use a satin four coat urethane finish or the matte acrylic finisher to seal the artwork onto the purse. I'm going to go with the matte acrylic finisher. And this is the complete Wonderless Travel Doodle Bag. If you have any questions, all of my contact information is down below as are links to all the products used in this video. Big thanks to Angela Strike for the paints and thanks guys for watching.